Okay, we're doing a doing a couple videos on nettles. Um, this right here is wood nettle. You can tell it's wood nettle. It's a cousin to stinging nettle. But you can tell it's wood nettle by the wider oval shaped leaves. Um, it grows one to three and a half, maybe four feet tall. It's got alternating leaves. It's got the flowers coming out on the axles of each leaf stalk. It's got long leaf stalks. So this is identified as wood nettle. It's one of my favorites of the nettles. Um, when you're handling nettles, you use gloves. If you don't have gloves on you, you can uh, coat your hands with clay or mud. I have gloves with me. First thing you want to do is uh, just start removing all these leaves off of here. Going upward, don't pull down because you'll tear into your cordage. Just pull upward towards the tip of the plant. Don't discard the leaves just yet. Yeah, right there. Take your while you got your gloves on. Just rub all them little spines off. Just only takes a few swipes. Okay. Now you're ready to start making cordage. Pause it. There's two ways you can do the cordage on this. I got a green one and a dry one. If you let one dry for about three to five days and then just get it wet, what you can do is you just come in, smash it up with your fingers real easy, like so. Once you do that, you can come down to the bottoms, start back to the top, just work your fibers off of it. Yeah. What will remain is the pift on the inside. The hard woody part. This is the pift. You do not need this. When you're using it green, I like some people like to beat it. I don't like to because to me it breaks down my fibers too much. So what I like to do is use a rolling pin method. I just get two branches, start rolling it out. Okay. Once you got that. You're just going to run your finger, put your thumb in the middle of it, work your thumb through, down the center. you got to get that pift out of the inside. Once you have it split down the middle like that, next thing you're going to do is you're just going to break it in half. Fold it completely in half. Grab that hard woody pift. Start pulling it out. Just like that. Just fold it. Pull it off. What you're after is the outside fibers, not the inside fibers. So that's what you'll end up with. Make sure all your pifts off. There you have what you're going to use for cordage. Okay, now your next step, you can you can use this green for like shelters, stuff like that. You can use it emergency, whatever, or just use it for shelters or however you want to use it. Or, you know, if you're going to use it for a trap or fishing line or something like that, I would recommend you dry it out. It becomes much smaller. Okay, so once I do that, I do that mainly just to kind of soften it up because it's dried. Next thing I want to do is I want to fold it right in half. Find my center, okay, at, the, at my center I'm going to start twisting it, just like this, until it twists up on itself, see that? Once you get so tight, it'll go on itself, like that, you just make a loop on its own, okay? I'm going to grab the tip of that loop, like that. Next thing I'm going to do, is I got one over top of the other. I'm going to take my furthest one away from me. I'm going to twist it twice to the away from me. I'm going to bring it back over the top to me. Now I got my bottom one. I'm going to twist it twice away from me. I'm going to bring it back over the top to me. Just keep rotating these in and out, just like that. Away from me. 
over the top back to me away from me to me okay see I'm just working my way down through there a couple times there incorporate all your fingers you know see like air I twisted I'm coming back I'm grabbing with these two fingers and I'm pulling it back through just like that You see it start making a rope just like that starts making good cord okay now I'm at this point now I need I got this side thinner than this side so what I need to do is add string add cord to this so what I'm gonna do that is I'm just gonna tuck that up there I'm gonna twist these together like this just kind of braid them up with just a twist and I'm ready to go again see there okay so I've got that ready to go. Now, my other side's also now to the point where I've got to add it. So I'm going to do the same thing. Just like that. Twist it around there. Enough to get a good hold on it. When this braid's together, that's going to catch and hold that. So you're just going to start working your way going down again. Okay. So once you're done, that's what you end up with. It's dry cordage, so I don't have to worry about it drying when I'm using it. But I would use this on my like pipe deadfall, something like that, where I need cordage that's dry. So when you're done, you end up with something like that right there. Just whip your ends. Um, that's super strong cord, 50 times stronger than cotton. Uh, this will be in the part one of this video right here. Uh, I'll bring part two up here soon, just in just a minute. Cooking the nettles and using it for medicinals. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy. One way you can identify nettles is uh, like the stinging nettle family is uh, that if you rub up against these or brush up against them, it stings. And uh, one, one thing you can do to remedy that is um, you can use jewel weed, put some jewel weed on there, work it in real good. Or what I found is most of generally you find these along uh, stream banks, river bottoms, things like that around the edges of water. Um, just soak the infected area in water or uh, you can use put some mud on there or some clay I've used that and that, that seems to help pretty good if you can't find a jewel weed right in the immediate area but uh, you know we'll just put some mud or clay on there or just soak it in the water um, but yeah it's, it's not like excruciating pain but it does hurt and it is annoying and uh, so just use gloves or coat your hands when handling this stuff and uh, you'll know when you're in a patch trust me you you'll never forget that feeling 